Hello friends, the question is like this. Evaluate the given definite integral as the limit of sum. The definite integral which we have taken is e to the power of x dx from the limit minus 1 to 1. Okay. Now to solve this question, first of all, I take the given integral and apply this formula. That is integration as the limit of the, the sum. Okay. So, because the lower limit is minus 1, so I'm going to place in this formula a is equal to minus 1. Okay, and I'm going to obtain the expression like this, limit of h tends to 0, h times f of minus 1 plus f of minus 1 plus h, and so on up to f of minus 1 plus n minus 1 into h. Okay, and to calculate this expression, I have n is equal to 1 minus minus 1, that is upper limit minus lower limit, upper limit is 1, lower limit is minus 1. So I get n is equal to 2 upon h or n h is equal to 2. Okay. Now, to solve the question, I have to calculate the total of f of minus 1 plus f of minus 1 plus h and so on up to the last term. Okay. So, as fx is equal to e to the power of x, so f of minus 1 will be equal to e to the power of minus 1. f of minus 1 plus h would be equal to e to the power of minus 1 plus h. f of minus 1 plus 2h would be equal to e to the power of minus 1 plus 2h. I've written an extra term. And the last term f of minus 1 plus n minus 1 into h would be equal to e to the power of minus 1 plus 2h. Okay. So to solve this question, it is very necessary to calculate the sum and to calculate the sum, I have written all these terms in a systematic manner and I am going to total it. So left hand side would be equal to this whole expression f of minus 1 plus f of minus 1 plus h and so on up to f of minus 1 plus n minus 1 into h and this will be equal to e to the power of minus 1 plus e to the power of minus 1 plus h plus e to the power of minus 1 plus 2h and so on up to e to the power of minus 1 plus n minus 1 into h. Now to solve this question, it is very necessary that we should calculate the sum. If the sum is calculated correctly, so our answer would be also correct. So now we are going to calculate the total of this term e to the power of minus 1 plus e to the power of minus 1 plus h and so on. So to calculate the total, what I see that I can take e to the power of minus 1 as common. And I'm going to obtain this term e to the power of minus 1 times e to the 1 plus e to the power of h plus e to the power of 2h and so on up to e to the power of n minus 1 into h. Okay. So this is a geometric progression. You can see that the ratio of the any two terms that is this term and the previous term e to the power of 2h upon e to the power of h would be to the power of h, e to the power of h upon e to the upon 1 would be equal to e to the power of h. So any term divided by previous term gives me e to the power of h. So it is a geometrical progression. Okay. And the sum of gp, I know that it is equal to a, a times r to the power of n minus 1 upon r minus 1, where a is the first term and r is the common ratio. So the total of the, of this this bracket can be written as so because the first term is 1, so I'm not writing 1. And this will be equal to e to the power of h, that is r, raised to the power of n, minus 1 upon r minus 1. Okay. And a was equal to 1, so I've not written. So the, the total of this complete expression is equal to e to the power of minus 1 into e to the power of h, raised to the power of n, minus 1 upon e to the power of h minus 1. And these two... Uh, sorry, this term e to the power of h whole to the power of n can be solved as e to the power of n h or h times n. Okay. So I can write that the sum f of minus 1 plus f of minus 1 plus h and so on up to f of minus 1 plus n minus 1 into h which was equal to this value is equal to e to the power of n e to the power of minus 1 e to e to the power of n h minus 1 upon e to the power of h minus 1. So I'm going to place this value instead of this value. I get the integral like this. 
as equal to limit of h tends to 0 h times e to the power of minus 1 e to the power of n h minus 1 upon e to the power of h minus 1 okay and already I have calculated the product of n into h as equal to 2 and one thing which has to be noted here is this that there are two limits when n tends to infinity h tends to 0 so if I take h tends to 0 then it would not be mathematically correct because there are two limits here so I can only take limits if I have only one variable either n or h so what I'm going to do I'm going to substitute nh as equal to 2 like this so placing nh is equal to 2 I get this value as equal to limit of h tends to 0 into h times e to the power of minus 1 e square minus 1 upon e to the power of h minus 1 okay the so further this can be written as e to the power of minus 1 into e to the e square minus 1 upon 1 and this h which was outside the bracket is written as h upon e to the power of h minus 1 okay this h goes in the denominator like this all the terms as it is and applying this formula limit of x tends to 0 e to the power of x minus 1 upon x is equal to 1 so this term this value is going to become 1 on applying the limits so I'm going to get e to the power of minus 1 into e square minus 1 upon 1 so this is going to be 1 so I'm going to get this as equal to e to the power of minus 1 into e square minus 1 this e to the power of minus 1 multiplies in the bracket I get e e to the power of 1 minus e to the power of minus 1 or e minus 1 upon e which is my required answer so this is how I'm going to solve this question to watch more of these super videos and for the latest update subscribe and like the videos on these YouTube channels HSK Shiksha and Maths Help by HSK. Thank you.